Um, so women have to do a lot of things in society that I feel very bad about. They have to wear high heels even with a broken foot. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Society is terrible on women. Women have to do so much. Makeup, hair, earring, that. Guys pretty much roll out of bed and they go, what's up? But there's one thing I need to know about America. You have to help me, my bald-headed friend. And bald is a good thing to talk about right now. I am from Europe. I don't know what to do with my, you know? I think you call it manscaping. I think it's called manscaping. I need some advice, people of America. I need advice. Natural? Trim it? Trim it? What? French braid it? There's a Brit in the room. I heard a British accent say, French braid it, mate. Give him something to swing from, mate, as they're sucking on your balls. How many people want me to wax it clean like a porn star? Like one of those... Yeah, wax it clean, yes, wax it clean. How many people are hippie, crunchy hippies? They want the full Bob Dylan, the full Bob Dylan. Buckwheat? I should paint my balls black and say, okay. It's a buckwheat. I should move to Brooklyn, my friend. Lots of buckwheats there. I got some advice from someone in uh, Colorado Springs which is very uh, conservative, if you don't know. We like to call them Christian Springs, actually. But she told me, she said, Pierre, think about your downstairs like a sporting green, like a, like a putting green in golf or a, or a baseball diamond where someone is paid to manicure the lawn one eighth of an inch evenly, yes. And then I think of this one eighth of an inch evenly, just, and I, that got in my mind, I said, one eighth of an inch evenly. Okay, so I went to, I went to Floyd's barbershop and I bought the machine that they use on your head and except I didn't put the no, I put a little thing on it. You put the no thing on it, but I put the eighth of an inch thing. I clicked it on, I plugged it in. Everyone in my house, my girlfriend was like, are you shaving your balls again? What's going on? And I tried to do the, and women, you have a very nice putting green, you do. You go to the beautiful mountains, into the high desert. <laughs> what? <laughs> what drug are you on tonight? I'm just curious. Is ecstasy or mushrooms? I understand both. Just tell me so I can. Towering and vodka. Vodka and what? Towering. What's towering? Red Bull. Oh, Red Bull. <laughs> I'm not from your neck of the woods. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a towel ring and vodka after the show. And take that towel ring and use it so you don't get anyone pregnant. Cause you should not reproduce, really, I'm telling you. Um. <laughs> so I got the machine and I tried to shave and women, you know, you got the nice sloping, the 18th hole into the 19th hole. You know, it's very easy for you. Zzz, a down hole. I put it on my zzz, Cause there's shit. Ah. Men have shit going on, Katrina, they do. There's shit going on. I know you've never seen it, but it's... Half of the Muppet movie is down there. And they don't like the like Ernie and Bert are like, what, what? Ernie and Bert hanging around, what? We're not gay, we're just roommates in the same sack, come on. And then you've got either, you know, Big Bird if you're horny or Snuffleupagus, too much whiskey. Like, move shit around. It's like, a, it's like moving your neighbor's couch around. And then back here, like, it's like being Catholic. That's like blind faith. I just, I can't see it. I'm just hoping that something good is happening back there. I'm just gonna believe the instruction manual, yes. And God shall rise again on your anus and I don't know. Well, see, she has, I have yet to ask her. I should probably. Because I went alone and I threw the machine away. I said, fuck that machine. It's nothing but pain. And I thought, I'm going to be an equal opportunity fucker. I'm going to have something for, like a fun house. Like a fun house or a buffet with tofu at this end and sriracha beef at this end. I'm going to have 
And so I'm gonna wax this nut, let the other one go Jesus Christ. I think... <laughs> Am I wrong? No, seriously, if I'm in New England, I'd be like, hello. Welcome to the club, mate. And if I'm in Texas, I'd be like, what's up, bitches? You want some hair on that? Put your fucking armpit hair on my hair. And if I go to Nebraska, which has anyone been to Nebraska? No. Has anyone seen the women in Nebraska? Yes. Here's how you get a woman to fuck you in Nebraska. You put a side of ranch dressing next to your dick. <laughs> no, they come running for miles. What? Mm -hmm. You got a refill on the... Yeah. I'll let you know how that goes. Sorry, I got off track, huh? I keep trying to introduce beautiful women, and all I do is picture my balls in ranch dressing. I'm sorry about that. Who's next up? I, I can't even remember. Oh, this young lady, I gotta tell you, I'm proud of her. She um, is doing something called CrossFit. Okay, if you said to me that that was fun times, <laughs> run around for like hours whipping, fuck that. I want to sit at a bar, smoking weed, drinking a beer. Yeah. And that's why this is my CrossFit right here because I am a 40 year old man and this is a sign of leth lethargy. It really is what it is. But this next young lady is not lethargic. She's not lazy, no, she's fit, she's CrossFit. And if you don't cheer for her, she will come out into the audience and kick your ass right now. Put your hands together, the lovely Dutel!